Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Praise God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We live 
Jesus' name. We shout hallelujah. We shout hallelujah. We shout hallelujah. We shout hallelujah. We live Jesus' name. We live Jesus' name. We live His name. We live His name. Oh, shout hallelujah. Oh, shout hallelujah. Oh, shout hallelujah. We shout hallelujah. Tonight we adore thee, O God. We are grateful unto thee for this opportunity to come before thee one more time. We thank you for your presence in our midst. We thank you for what you have planned tonight for your people. We know that tonight every heart shall be filled. Every hungry soul shall be filled. Lord, even as we receive your word, I ask that you give us understanding into your word. We ask for grace to be doers of your word. That we shall be fruitful in every good work. And Lord, after the preaching and the teaching of your word, stretch forth your hands, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, and visit every home, visit every family, and visit your people. In any area they desire a visitation. And Father, you would have all the glory now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. Beloved, this is Covenant Faith Broadcast. This is our virtual half-night service. And wherever you are connected from, I want you to understand that God is going to minister to you and God is going to touch you in your homes and wherever you are hearing from. Beloved, there is no distance in prayer and there is no distance in the anointing. The power of God here is able to reach to you in your homes, is able to reach to you in your city rooms, wherever you are watching from. I believe that God has a message for you and God is going to visit you in every area of your life where you desire a visitation. Praise God. But tonight, before we go into a time of prayer, we want to share with you briefly the word of the Lord. Praise God. Our theme for this half night is divine visitation. Divine visitation for God. God's for performance. Divine visitation. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the cause shall be of the remnant of the house of Judah. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 7. And the cause shall be of the remnant of the house of Judah. And they shall feed thereupon in the houses of Askelon. They shall lie down in the evening for their God shall visit them and turn away their captivity. The Bible is saying that God is going to visit his people and is going to turn away their captivity. My dearly beloved listener, my dearly beloved viewer, I want you to understand that this is the season of God's visitation. This is the season of divine performance. And before there shall be a performance, God is going to visit his people. And whatever you are believing God for and whichever area of your life 
you desire a divine visitation, I want you to know that God is going to come right in your home. God is going to come right in your family. God is going to come right in your affairs and is going to take over and turn your captivity. The Bible makes us understand that when the Lord then turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream a dream. My dear beloved viewer, my dear sister, my dear brother out there, I came to tell you that God is about to turn your captivity in the place where they said it's all over. God is going to visit your home. God is going to visit your marriage. God is going to visit your situation and is going to turn it around. Beloved, our God is an omnipotent God. Our God is an omnipresent God. Our God is almighty. Our God is all powerful. God is all the time working. But there comes a time in our life where God decides to select us and God decides to map out a plan and a strategy to visit us. Beloved, God is at work all the time and God is moving in the midst of his people. God is dwelling in the midst of his people. But there comes a point where there is targeted performance. There comes a time when God targets a people and he executes his plans and the purposes of God in his life. And that is called divine visitation. God is in your neighborhood. God is in your life. God is in your family. God is on the earth. God is moving in the midst of his people. But there comes a point in the lives of God's people where God selects them for performance. Where God focuses on his children. And that is called divine visitation. God is already with you. But there comes a point where God decides that this is the time I'm going to execute my plan and I'm going to execute execute my purposes in your life and that is divine visitation I see divine visitation coming to someone, the Bible says God said, he said David said whither shall I go from thy spirit if I go to the heavens you are there, if I go to the abyss you are there, if I go under the waters you are there, so God is everywhere but when God decides to target a people and when God de decides to target a person and when God decides to target a place to execute his purpose and to execute his agenda in the life of those people and in the life of a person it is called divine visitation I believe you are the next person God is about to visit I believe your family is the next family God is about to visit your ministry is the next ministry God is about to visit I came to tell you your business is the next business God is about to visit and beloved when God selects you and when God puts you out to showcase his favor to show you his performance and to show you his visitation there shall always be a performance in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Now we quickly want to know why, there's, why is there a divine visitation in the life of God's people. Some of you have been fasting for days. Covenant Faith Chapel International, we've been fasting for some time. And the theme of our fasting has been divine perform, divine visitation for divine performance. Some of you partook in the fast. Some of you did not fast the whole 40 days. Some of you fasted for 20. Some of you fasted for 40. Some of you fasted for 30. Beloved, it doesn't really matter. As long as your heart is set apart and your heart is prepared to receive from the Lord and you have labored and prayed and traveled before God, I came to tell you that God is going to answer your prayer and God is going to visit your family. God is ask, you are asking God to intervene in your life, to intervene in your marriage, to intervene in your business, to intervene in a particular affair. In other words, you say, God, visit me, visit my home, visit my marriage, visit my children, visit my ministry. God says, I would have you know that he has already gone ahead of you and he has prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. And where they say you cannot enter, you would enter. Where people enter and they don't come back, you would enter and come back. Where people are not able to get to, you will get there. Every limitation they are placed on your family members and any limitation they are placed on destinies, I came to tell you that God is lifting the limit. God is breaking the limit. The barriers are going to be broken and what they say you cannot do, you will do. And where they say you cannot enjoy, you would enjoy. I see the hand of God rising and coming upon you because this is your season of divine visitation. This is the time God has chosen to execute his plans and his agenda in your life. The focus of God is on your home. The focus of God is on your marriage. The focus of God is on your ministry. And dearly beloved, you said, am I that important? God says, you are my workmanship, created in Christ Jesus. God says, this is your season and I'm visiting you. I'm coming to your home. I'm coming to your family. God, somebody say, God, am I that important? Yes, God says, you are that important. You are the apple of of my eye and if it means I have to die for only one person and you are that person I will 
die for you. I am coming to your home and I'm coming to your home. I'm coming to your family and I'm coming to your marriage. That family altar will be destroyed and that family curse shall be broken and that ungodly covenant that I held the lives of many in captivity. This is the season for God's divine visitation and when God visits you, I came to tell you that generational yoke, that generational covenant shall be broken. This is your season. Wherever you are listening from, wherever you are watching from, I want you to rise up and shout yes because you are the next person for God to visit. Praise God. Why is there divine visitation? Number one, in fulfillment of prophecy. In fulfillment of prophecy. In Galatians chapter 4, verse 4 to 6, why is there a divine visitation? Why must there be a divine in fulfillment of prophecy? But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into our hearts. Now, why is there a divine visitation for the fulfillment of prophecy? The coming of the Lord Jesus was prophesied by different prophets under the Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, different prophets who lived at different times, at different places, consistently and coherently prophesied the coming of the Lord Jesus. And the word of God makes us to understand when the time came, Jesus was, when the time came for Jesus to come forth, when the time came for the manifestation of the prophecy, God sent forth an angel and God visited a woman called Mary. Be glad that when there is the need for the fulfillment of a prophecy, God will visit his people. When the time came, a woman called Mary was visited. The Bible says the angel of the Lord, Gabriel, visited Mary and he said, thou who art highly favored, he said, you are highly favored among all women. You are blessed because it was a season of performance. But before the performance, there was a visitation. Anytime there must be a fulfillment of a prophecy, there has to be a divine visitation. Beloved, God is about to visit you. There's a prophecy hanging over your neck. There's a prophecy hanging over your life. There's a prophecy hanging over your ministry. God has not forgotten about you and God has not forsaken you. Beloved, you've been marking time. You are telling yourself it's all over. But I came to tell you God has not forsaken you and God has not forgotten you. That prophecy shall come to pass. That prophecy will be fulfilled. Every promise of God over your family, every promise of God over your marriage, every promise of God over your ministry shall be fulfilled. God God is not slack and God is not slow. God is not broke. He's not run out of resources. God is faithful. God cannot be restricted by barriers. God cannot be restricted by the weather condition. God cannot be stopped by coronavirus. I don't care COVID-19. I came to tell you when the time of fulfillment of prophecy is come, you shall have divine visitation. COVID-19 cannot stop God from visiting you. You are going to conceive and you shall bear a son and that son shall be a sign that the Lord has visited you and has visited your family. COVID-19 cannot stop the prophecy from coming to pass. Anytime there is a need for a prophecy to be fulfilled, there is a divine visitation. Praise God. And I came to tell you, you need to understand carefully what the blessings of divine visitation brings. And I'm going to just close in some few minutes as we pray. Divine visitation, number one, blessings. Every visitation of God comes in an answer to a need. It comes in the form of an answer to a need. He said, I will visit you and I will turn your captivity. Your area of need will be different from mine. I need God's visitation, maybe in my finances. I need God's visitation, maybe in my marriage. I need God's visitation, maybe in my business. I need God's visitation, maybe in an area of deliverance. Listen, our area of divine visitation may be different. You need maybe revival. You need a great awakening. You need an impartation. Your area of divine visitation may be finances. But God's visitation will always come to meet a need. Will always come to bring a solution. God's visitation comes to bring a solution. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. He said the Lord is our strength and our refuge. Our very present help in trouble. God is our refuge. He's our strength. A very present help. Not future help. Not past help. He said our very present help is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Number one, divine visitation will bring deliverance. Deliverance. Praise God. Exodus chapter 12 verse 51. When God visited the Israelites, he delivered them from bondage. He delivered them from servitude. He delivered them from hard labor. He praised God. The deliverance of God will bring 
visitation of God will bring deliverance. Deliverance from your enemies. Deliverance from traps. Deliverance from something that is imminent. Deliverance from some imminent danger. The visitation of God will always bring a solution. Deliverance. Number two, there cannot be any visitation without vengeance. Listen, when God visits you, he will bring vengeance upon your enemies. For I will pass through the land of Egypt on that night, and I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Listen, you serve a God of consuming fire. He said, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. He said, oh God, through the greatness of thy power, shall thy enemies be subdued. Anytime there is divine visitation, there is vengeance. And God judged the gods of Egypt. And it came to pass at midnight. Anytime I came to tell, listen, it doesn't matter those who have risen up to fight you. He says, I will contend with them that contend against you. It doesn't matter where it's coming from. It doesn't matter who the person is. Anybody behind your struggles, anybody behind your predic behind your predicament. I said, when the day of visitation comes, God will not only bring you deliverance, but God will bring judgment against the enemies of his people. Number three, restoration. Restoration. There cannot be proper visitation without restoration. Anything of yours that has been taken shall be restored. There cannot be. I said there cannot be. The Bible makes us understand. And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. So that they granted them what they requested. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. The greatest wealth transfer. Oh come on. Listen. Their forefathers worked. They were not paid. They labored. They were not paid. They built the cities of Egypt. And so the Bible makes us know when the time of visitation came, all the work their forefathers had worked, for which they had not been remunerated, for which they had not been rewarded, God put everything together. He brought them forth with silver and gold. He, he brought them forth also with silver and gold. Every visitation of God brings deliverance, it brings vengeance and judgment against God's people, and it brings restoration. A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. The word of the wicked is laid out for the just. Every visitation of God brings restoration. Freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord God is, there is liberty. The Israelites said, we want to go and worship our God. For we cannot worship on the land of Egypt. For if we worship on the land of Egypt, it will be an abomination to the Israelites. There are Christians who cannot worship God in freedom. But when God visits, he gives us freedom of worship. He said, how be it? The spirit is the Lord. And where the spirit of the Lord God is, there is liberty. He said, walk in the liberty wherein Christ has set thee free or made thee free. Our visitation brings deliverance, vengeance, restoration, freedom of worship, and great demonstration of power. God parted the rest for them they went through. Provision. When the Lord visited Samaria, according to the prophecy of Elisha, there was a great harvest. When the Lord visited salvation, when the Lord visited the household of Zacchaeus, he said, Zacchaeus, today is salvation day. When the Lord visits your family, those who have rejected Jesus, those who have not received Jesus, they would open their hearts. When the Lord visits, there is salvation. When the Lord visits, there is healing. He's going to heal your sick bodies. By his stripes, we were healed. The Bible said the angel would trouble the water and the man was not getting healed. But one day, Jesus himself came. And when the Lord Jesus visited the man at the pool of Bethsaida, the, that day, the man had to make, the angels had come, the man never received. But when Jesus visited that day, in the midst of all his excuses, he had to take his bed and walk. Because when the Lord Jesus visits, salvation comes, healing comes. When he visits, he cancels every shame of barrenness. In Genesis 18, 14, he said, I will visit you. And your wife Sarah shall conceive and have a son. When the Lord visits, he gives divine guidance. Some of you have been praying for guidance. But in a few moments, we are going to pray. He gives guidance. Genesis chapter 26, verse 1 to 3. And 13 and 14. The Bible says, And the Lord appeared to Isaac. And there was famine in the land, besides the first famine. That was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines in Jerah. And the Bible makes us understand, The Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land of which I shall tell thee. And verse 3. Dwell in this land, and I will be with you, and bless you. For to you and your descendants, I will give all these lands and I will perform the oath which I swore to your father Abraham. Divine guidance. And chapter verse 13 and 14. The man began to prosper and, and, and the man was great 
and he went forward and grew until he became very great. Anytime there's divine guidance, there's prosperity. Anytime there's divine guidance, there is deliverance. He said, take your son and run to Egypt. It was guidance which brought protection and deliverance. And I'm going to conclude with Joel chapter 3. Joel chapter 2, verse 23 to 28. When the Lord visits, he gives us the range, both the latter and the former reign. When the Lord visits, he performs his word concerning our lives at a particular time. Be glad then ye children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord your God for he has given you the former rain moderately and he will cause to come down for you the rain. The rain. Somebody say the rain. Another person say the rain. He said the former rain and the latter rain. In the first month there's something we call the rain. He has given you the former rain and he has given you the latter rain. But this time he's going to give you the rain. The rain is going to give to you is the former and the latter put together. He said the threshing floor shall be full of wheat. And the vats shall overflow with new wine. This is what happens when the Lord visits. He said, ah, so I will restore to you the years the swarming locust has eaten. The crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust. My great army which I sent among you. I will restore. When the Lord visits, he restores. He said, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. My people shall never be put to shame. When there's divine visitation, you eat in abundance and you are never put to shame. He restores. Praise God. Now verse 28. He said, then you shall know. Then you shall know that I'm the Lord thy God. Verse 28. And it shall come to pass that I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Old men shall have dreams. Young men shall have visions. Listen. When the Lord comes and he visits, he pours the Holy Ghost. In the upper room, the apostles, the disciples were waiting. Ten days, they were in prayer. And the Lord visited them. What was the visitation? The outpour of the Holy Ghost. That was the visitation. Wherever you are, you are going to join with me. We are going to pray. Maybe you are sleeping. Rise up on your feet and let us pray. Beloved, wherever you are watching from, we are going to pray based on the benefits and we are going to ask God to visit you in your every area of your life where you desire divine visitation. Praise God. Just lift up your hands. We are going to pray together. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we bless your name. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you. We thank you that tonight you will heal the sick. Tonight you will visit someone in his home. Tonight, right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We bless your name, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. 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 Jesus, we bless your name. Thank you, Lord. 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 Jesus, glory to Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all day long. Thank you, Lord. This is my story. This is my song. Thank you, Father. Praising my Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Singing, this is my story. This is my story. This is my song. Sing it with me wherever you are. Praising my Savior. Sing it, 
This is my story. This is my story. This is my story. This is my song. Oh, praising my Savior all the day long. Singing, this is my story. My story, this is my story. This, this is my story. Your story is changing. Your story is changing tonight. Your family situation is changing. Your marital situation is changing. Your ministry situation is changing. It is changing tonight. It is changing tonight. It is changing. Your health issue is changing. It's changing. I say it is changing tonight. It is changing tonight. Singing, this is my story. This is my story. This is my story. It is changing today. A new story. A new story. If any man be in Christ, is a new creation. Behold, the old is passed away. All things have become new. All things have become new. It is changing now. It is changing now. Lord Sataya Baba. Can I have some prayer warriors in the house? I want to hear your prayer like a mighty water, like thunder. Come on, lift up your voice. I came to tell you, your story is changing tonight. Your marital issue is changing tonight. There is going to be visitation in your family. There's going to be visitation in your home. Hey, leketala masoka ba 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 ba. Rekete kete le magadaya. Shabala mabo shebele le 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 le. Hey, leke 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 leke. Rokoto komo shabala gade. Shabandi ni bini kataya. Hey, leke 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 leke. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Those who can clap, clap your hands and pray. Ha 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 ha. Hey, leke palo shabala mate. Anda sandari. Clap your hands and pray. Hey, Limoloko Sataya Baba. Let me hear your prayer tonight. I said, let me hear your prayer. Come on, barriers have been broken. Doors are opening. Hey, legedegede. Both prison gates are opening. Prison gates are opening. I said, Lord, visit my home. Lord, visit my family. Lord, visit my ministry. Lord, visit my children. Lord, visit the business of God. Visit the work of my hands of God. Oh, yes, visit. Visit my father's house. Visit my siblings. Visit my children. Come on, let me hear your prayer. Let me hear your prayer. Pray like you mean business with God. Pray like you mean business with God. Pray, pray, pray fervently. Ah ha ha ha. Rabalo shekele tamba bika namare kete kete le papa ra toko sabe le papa 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 ro rante ke le molokoto. Yes, divine intervention is coming to your home. It's coming to your children. You shall not die. You shall not die. That sickness is not going to kill you. Ah, that sickness is not going to kill you. The ministry will not close down. The marriage will not fail. The marriage will not collapse. The children will not go wayward. Come on, lift up your voice. I said they will not tell you. You will not end up in prison. Your children will not be jailed. Oh, that shame, that shame, that shame is not your portion. The doctor's report shall be turned around. The doctor's report shall be turned around. Let the doctor's report be turned around. Ah, yekele matakaya, rapa kolo moshete, zimulo koto barakataya, antele getele matuskaya. I said the Lord God is bringing deliverance to you. Deliverance of all kind, spiritually deliverance, emotionally deliverance, physical deliverance. Come on, clap your hands and pray. This situation will not consume you. It will not consume your children. 
It will not consume your house. It will not consume your marriage. Ah, this sickness will not kill you. Deliverance is coming. Deliverance is coming. Deliverance is coming. Salvation is coming to your home. Salvation is coming to your children. Salvation is coming to your ministry. Miracles, signs, and wonders. They are coming. They are performing. Yeah, lege lege le mahos. Shabala baba, shabala baba. Rapata ya mande kete le makata ya mahos. Shabala be. The heavens are open. The heavens are open over your home. I say you will not die before your time. You will, you will not die. The sickness will not destroy you. It will not destroy you. You will not be confused. Yes, begin to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed in your bodies. Be healed in your bodies. Be healed in your bodies right now. Yes, wherever you are watching from, wherever you are listening from, I ask that you be healed now. Be healed from the crown of your head. I cast every spirit of infirmity. I bind every spirit of infirmity in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity that is holding you in bondage. Every spirit of bondage that is holding you bound. I bind that spirit right now. I break the power of the enemy over your body, over your soul. I break the power of the enemy over your body. I bind sickness and disease. I command it to leave your body right now. Let it leave your body. Sickness and disease. I bind every spirit of sickness and disease. I command it to leave your body right now. Let it leave your body. Yes, sickness, disease. Every sickness of the blood, every sickness of the bone, every sickness of the cell tissue. I command it to leave you now. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, begin to pray. Everything of yours that has been stolen. This is the time of restoration. This is the time of restoration. Restoration, restoration. Restoration, restoration, restoration. Oh, clap your hands and pray, 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 pray. Restoration, 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 restoration. Hey, lika balo, shabala babe, shebele bele bele, kapando lika ma, rapando ko, shebele gede, lepando ko, shatala baye, maroko to, shikini bila. Hey, ketele maho, shapala, 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 raba seke. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Restoration. 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 Anything of yours that has been stolen. Anything of yours that has been destroyed. Anything of yours that was taken. Anything of yours that was lost. Anything of yours that was tempted. May the angels of the Lord, ministry angels, ministry angels, ministry angels, ministry angels, ministry angels, ministry angels, they are right with you, they are right in your homes. Ministry angels, ministry angels, ministry angels, they are with you right now. Yes, pray, your children will be suffering. Ah, Talobo Sebre Gedele, Shaban Dele Matapaya, Sibele Gedele Masoka, Rapa, 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 Shandolo, Malekete, Sibolo Koto, Sibolo Koto, let the prison gates be open. Let your destiny happen be released. Let your children be released. Let them be released now. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. 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 Yes, in the name of Jesus. May the Lord avenge you. Our God is a consuming fire. 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 Lift up your voice, pray. Our God is a consuming fire. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. 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 Let the Lord bring judgment. Let the Lord bring vengeance against the enemies of your people. Oh, ye kele baba baba baba. Shapala man tele kele lebo koshata. Zimre kele lebo kobo shata ya. Ah, malam pronto skele bele bele. Shapala tele mataya. Rapando kolo boshete. Rapando lebo kobo shata. Zimre kele lebo kaba. Hey, ye kete le kete le kele bele te le kele bele te. May the Lord visit. May every barren situation, may every barren situation in your home, may every barren situation in your marriage, may every barren situation in your ministry, may the Lord turn it around, 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 may every barren situation, 
Hey, 
know we are ready to receive a testimony. The testimony is coming. And you will live to testify. You shall not die, but you will live and declare the works of the Lord. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. God has visited you. And you will have a testimony. Tell the story.